What's good, everybody? It's Ryder G tapping in. Today, I want to talk about Los Angeles County Juvenile Hall and the probation staff. Today, I've seen an interesting article in LA Times uh, basically stating that LA County probation staff are afraid to go to work because the incarcerated youth at the detention centers are acting violent. So there's grown adults, male and female grown, saying they're scared of teenage youth. That's interesting. I could see it, you know, in certain units, but they're trying to make it seem like it's every unit. And I think there's a bigger issue that they're not touching on. And they have a history of not taking accountability for their actions, right? You know, there's been a few lawsuits that we're going to cover that came out the last couple years, bro, alleging serial abuse by the department staff in charge of taking care of these youth. Look, me personally, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying that grown... Adults are scared of, of teenagers, bro. I think they just make a bunch of excuses. They lack accountability, bro. So my first question is, what's making these kids so upset? Are you not letting them out for recreational time? Are you feeding them garbage? Are you talking down on them? Are you threatening them? Are you assaulting them? What's going on in those facilities, bro? Because they do have a history of, of acting that in that manner. So, what measures are being taken by the department to solve these underlying issues, bro? Are they giving them more recreational time? Are they coming up with better programs to better re rehabilitate them? Like, what are you doing in those facilities, bro, other than abusing them? I know the department has a knack of blaming the youth for their problems. I was actually there in Los Padrinos in 2010 and 2011, and I was at Central. I've witnessed staff abuse. I've witnessed grown men, 6'5", 350 pound grown men, grab 12 year old boys and put them against the wall and you know, threaten you and basically tell you if you don't do certain things, you're not going home or you're, you're going to get locked in the dungeon and just crazy weird stuff, bro. People getting abused, you know, staff allowing access, allowing, you know, certain individuals, incarcerated youth to have access to other people's cells so they can run up in there and, and handle their business, right? And these are grown adults allowing this. These are the very same adults that are in charge of the safety of these children, of these youth. And they're constantly breaking these rules and breaking policy. There's so much lawsuits right now that they're facing. They closed them down a few years ago. Then they reopened. And now they're talking about closing them down again, bro. I'm telling you, that thing never stops. Look, staff for complaining when you got individuals like this. That got access to pizza, a vape pen, cell phones, private weapons, bro. By the adults bringing it in. Now, what about the kids that fear for their safety that are scared of these kids? You know, you're giving these kids the keys to a facility, in essence, and they're going after these kids. They are scared of these kids. So they're allowing predatory behavior, bro. Their actions are disgusting, to say the least. That's just an example of what goes on behind those walls, bro. With children, we're not talking adults, but we're talking children, youth. I've never seen so much grown men, grown women argue and fight 
and abused youth. I've never seen that much. That's why I don't respect the probation department. They haven't earned my respect, bro. I've seen them time and time again break policy and not be held accountable. I, too, myself am a victim. I'm a victim of abuse verbally and physically. There has been over a thousand sexual abuse lawsuit claims against the Los Angeles County Probation Department since 2022 when they passed that law extending the statute of limitations for victims. If it weren't for that law, no one would have ever been held accountable. It would have been brushed away like everything else. After under a year of being reopened, 66 peace officers in May last month were put on leave for being corrupt still. So they still got a problem. They never changed anything. So the youth are still at, at risk, right? I noticed they like to complain. They like to aggravate the youth. And then when the youth cracks back at them, they play the blame game. Oh, see, he's a bad kid. That's what these people do, man. They got the authority. They got the keys. And they abuse it. I think it's time to stop pointing the finger and look yourself in the mirror and stop blaming the kids. Though we were saying they're scared to go to work, bro. You're scared of kids? You're scared of preteens, bro. You get paid all that money. You got all that power. You got the keys. You control doors. You can lock them in doors. What are you scared of? I call total cap. That's cap. You're not scared, bro. I call cap on that. So this is just another case of corruption by the Los Angeles Probation Department, bro. So that's just what I got to say about it. You know, I got my eyes open. So we're going to continue to cover that situation. You know, I hope to one day maybe make an impact and help the youth, something that they are ne are negligent at. With that being said, let me know what you think. You think grown adults should be scared of teenage youth? Like, do you think that's like, I understand some people, but they're acting like it's like the majority of them. Like, do you think that it's cap or, or it's fact? Let me know what you think. We're going to continue to make content just like this. Uh, I appreciate all my supporters. We're going to continue to get it because program time.